I've created these personas to help people with a summary because I found that people were, many of my clients were having trouble. How do I do this summary? Do you know what I mean by the summary? It's the, many, many of you probably don't even use it. About half the people I see have it, it's completely not used. And it's a section at the top of your profile, 2,000 characters. It's a huge opportunity to pre-sell yourself and you want to do it in a nice way like Lynn does. Um, and so I've come up with these personas to help people because it's kind of hard for many of us to write about ourselves. Who finds it, who likes to write about themselves? Who finds it hard to write about themselves? Okay. You're not alone. So here are the personas. And I go into a great deal of depth of them. And I show examples in the book. But I want to tell you about them here. So the historian is very typical. You see them. I've been in the real estate business for 28 years, right? And before that, before I worked at this company, I was at this company. And before that, I went to this university. Have you seen that? OK, very common. So it's OK to have a historian persona. But I'd ask you to try to be a little more interesting. Try to hook your, hook your reader in a little bit more. So these are some other examples of the weaver. Now, I love the weaver one because the weaver is someone who's doing multiple things. And I can't tell you how many people are doing multiple things. I'll go into a company, and I'll be training 20 people, and somebody will whisper in my, in my ear, oh, but on the weekends, I'm a DJ. <laughs> you know, we're working on the profile that's company-based. And I'll say, don't worry about that. We'll, we'll, we'll incorporate that. Or I do real estate on the weekends. Or I have a business on the side. And some of you probably are doing multiple things, right? Anyone in this room doing multiple things? OK, wow, lots of. It's the, it's the economy we're in now. It didn't used to be that way. You used to work at a company or you did your thing. Nowadays, I don't know, at least a third of you are doing two things. So the weaver is when, you, when someone comes to your page and they can kind of make sense of what you're all about. Because if you're doing two, two things right now or three things and someone just comes to your page and you don't have a summary, they don't know what you're about. Well, is she a real estate agent or does she have her own company? Or They don't get it. This, this, the weaver persona allows you to tell that story and weave it in how you started, what's your priority, how you manage your time even, whatever. It's very effective. I have a great example in the book on that. The third one is a themer. And this is for a great for a senior level executive. So um, the woman that, that I have for this example, she works up at Cigna and she has a big job. And she's had a lot of big jobs. So she's the kind of person you could have you know, 45 things that she's great at. Remember I said in the beginning, you want to be specific? If you've got 45 things, you're, it's, you get watered down, right? So what we came up with is three or four themes that she wanted to be known for, that she feels she's good at, and she should be known for. So we were able to focus on those three or four themes of her career. It's very, very effective. The personality, some people can get away with this, some people don't want to, but it's, there are some people that are very effective in, and I had one of, my, one of my training classes with the company, I had one woman step, jump up and says, I'm running off to HR. And I said, what, what for? Why are you running off to HR? And she says, because I want to go see my, they did a personality assessment. She actually did this. And she ran off, and she came back, and she sat down. And in 10 minutes, I've never, it's the best summary I've ever seen. But she was able, remember I talked in the beginning about that, those personal qualities. Right, so that was, that's an example there. And then the, the favorite of mine is the storyteller. We all love a story because you're going to interest people. And again, remember, if there's a lot of attorneys, there's a lot of real estate agents, there's a lot of marketing people, you want to keep people interested in you. So I love a story. And the story that I use in my profile, if you read it, or even in the beginning of my book, is that I'm the new girl. When I was a child, I moved around. Family moved here to there. So I was always the new girl in school and the new girl on the bus and the new girl in the neighborhood. I had to make friends and I had to, I had to not be very shy because I had no choice. Anyway, it's really become part of my life, that, that experience. So that's the kind of like little opener I use. And some of the other folks I talk about, George, who works as a civil engineer in Stanford with a very good company, he opens up his summary, I'm the son of a carpenter. And he tells his story about being the son of a carpenter and then how he now is civil engineer. He's one of the owners of the company. Neil is a young 
professional, successful guy, works at a big company, and he, is, uh, he studied in China during college, after college, and he worked there. So he talks about how he spent some time in China and that experience, and now he's got global um, responsibility and how that helps him with what he did you know, right out of school. So he, he kind of ties all that in. And then Michael talks about being discovered on a golf course. So that's kind of unusual. And Valerie is a banker who, I'm, I'm talking a very big, uh, big job in a bank that you've all heard of that has a very large area. And she talks about her family business, growing up in a family business, and how that helps her with small businesses that are her banking customers. So you're starting to see the story. We all have our own stories. And so instead of just being, I'm 28 years as an attorney, or I'm 28 years or 18 years as a real estate agent, you can just make it a little more impactful and a little more compelling. And people will be interested. They'll have something in common with you.